We've got a burst of very hot weather around both islands over the next couple of days, followed by a burst of cold weather coming in again on Thursday with snow on the mountains. And then this weekend, a large high settles things down. And next week, we're now looking at a potential tropical cyclone, which may affect New Zealand. Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. That's a lot to cover, and those are the weather headlines as we kick off uh, today's weather video. So let's kick off with... What is going on right now uh, for Tuesday? We've got this hot weather coming through, a pulse of hot weather out of Australia, coupled with this subtropical wind coming down thanks to a big high that's just west of Auckland and Northland. So that warm weather comes through on the west coast. It heats up even further over the mountains. And you can see on the temperature map, this is our wind with temperatures. So you can see the blue for Antarctica and the red through Australia. But look, We've got orange as well coming up around the North Island and the eastern and northern parts of the south. The hottest part today will be around Canterbury to Marlborough. And then as we go into the next 24 hours, it moves more into the North Island and then we get the cold change. So the temperatures for today, uh, Tuesday, the departure from normal. How much hotter than usual is, uh, is it? And you can see much of the South Island in the extreme level, over eight degrees, in fact, over 10 degrees, hotter than it should be for this time of the year. The temperatures you just see are just a couple of random places, you know, well, not random, but main centers, but they're not all of the temperatures that are going to be recorded. There'll be some places inland that we expect to make it into the mid, maybe the late 30s. We say maybe because you need kind of clear skies for it to happen. It's gonna be the right conditions, but certainly we've got all the ingredients for that to happen. Uh, now, look, as we go in towards Wednesday, uh, you'll see that that hot weather moves up. See that red circle there indicating that Hawke's Bay, Gisborne, you're going to be feeling the heat on Wednesday. And there's the beginning of the next cooler change, colder change, depending on how you look at it, which is coming through on Thursday. So for lunchtime Wednesday, uh, it's just bringing rain into Fiordland. And those winds are becoming just slightly cooler than they were for today, Tuesday. The departure from normal map for tomorrow, Wednesday, shows again that eight plus uh, temperature, eight degrees above normal across the eastern North Island and still the upper South Island. Not quite so widespread though around Canterbury and other parts of the South Island. Still hot though, still above normal, four to eight degrees, warmer than average tomorrow in many places. And then we compare that with Thursday. There's the cold change. This is the afternoon departure from normal. And now you're talking about some places that are more than eight degrees below average. So you're going from being eight degrees above normal to eight degrees below normal. That's only in one small area, but you can see a large portion of Southland and Otago, four to eight degrees below average. And the North Island, that heat still just clipping on to the very north and eastern sides. Uh, Thursday's map looks like this. There's that cold southerly coming from a long way off the screen. That again means there'll be snow flurries on the mountains and some places will only just break into double digits with highs of 10, 11, 12 degrees on Thursday down in the south. I don't know if this is a better summer than last year. I get the feeling that it is better than last year for Southland. You had a pretty rubbish summer last year. This one might be a little bit better even with these uh, nasty southerlies, but I'm sure I'll hear from you to tell me otherwise. And on Friday, that's when we start to see this high rolling in. So yes, a cooler day across the country, showers and much cooler weather for the eastern North Island on Friday as that southerly comes in for you. And look at the lows, one, two, three, four of them sitting to the north. This one's got tropical cyclone potential. So the weekend, the last of that southerly coming in actually as an easterly for the Bay of Islands and some parts of Northland and maybe even Northern Auckland, just a few showers, nothing much. And in the next update, if this high expands just a little bit, those showers, they go out to sea. Sunday, a drier day around New Zealand, but you can see those La Nina Easterlies building at the top of the country. So a settled day over New Zealand, pretty calm weekend coming up, apart from a few showers to begin with on Saturday. And then our final map is for Monday of next week, and this looks like a tropical cyclone, very much so. Fiji Met Service also now talking about it, and there is some risk for New Zealand, but I've used this analogy before. When a cyclone drops straight down towards us, it's like balancing an egg on a roof. It tends to go one way or the other. Uh, in this case, the modeling suggests it wants to go out to the east. A few days ago, it was showing it going out into the Tasman, so definitely one to watch. The guiding feature will be this high. 
very similar to Cyclone Yasso, you know, where we had a cyclone to our north and a high down here that was guiding it and ended up stopping it from uh, even reaching New Zealand. This one's got a better chance of coming down to us because the high centered down here over the Chathams leaves northern New Zealand looking a little bit vulnerable. There's also potential of another cyclone out here in northwest Australia. I do have one more map. I got the sizing wrong of it, I'm sorry, but what I wanted to show you was this is the rainfall for the next seven days ahead and the main focus down here shows heavy rain, 150 millimetres of rain coming down there on the Fjordland area, whereas around the rest of the country the pale, sorry the dark blue and the greens just shows a couple of showers. So that does not include what is potentially coming in with that cyclone next week. So we will cover that in more detail and a bigger map uh, tomorrow in our next update.